I'm going to go over a method in order to get really clean bakes and um, avoid issues with these things getting skewed and looking really strange. So you want to avoid uh, this kind of thing where the bolts are facing out. Ignore this junk. This isn't a really clean bake. But you want to avoid this issue where these things are going off in a direction because of your cage. So to do that, we're going to use something called a skew mesh. So you have your low poly here and you have your high poly there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, first off, export selected and get your low poly uh, out. So that's your low poly mesh. Export as an OBJ, great. Then export your high poly right there. And the reason we're exporting is because we're gonna take these over to X normal. Okay. So then, in order to create a skew mesh, you take your low poly, put a tessellate modifier on it, reduce the tension to zero, and maybe kick it up a couple iterations. So I think two should be just fine. Okay. So then, we're going to need a cage. So let's do a quick projection. You can do this through the... Uh, through this UI also, but just keeping it quick. So, uh, okay, this is really crappy, but uh, you know you can do a better job of it when you have time. Make sure you have a really nice cage. So then you export the cage, and basically all that does is create another mesh. And of course, this is a horrible cage, so spend some time getting your cage right. And then export selected. And this will be your cage. Okay. Then load up X normal. Go to your high definition meshes. Go to add meshes. Get your high poly in there. And then go to low definition. Go to add meshes. Put your skew mesh in there. Oh. Uh, might have forgotten to export the skew mesh, so let me do that. File, export, selected, skew mesh. Great. So we'll put the skew mesh in there. Actually, let me remove all of these. And add mesh, skew mesh. Come over here, check use cage and then browse for an external cage file. Now this is a cage of your skew mesh, so keep that in mind. So then go over to baking options for the normal map. You want to uncheck this. It, it might be checked to begin with, so you might want to uncheck it. Basically what that's going to do is bake a um, an object space map as opposed to a tangent space map, and this is what you want for now. Okay, so this is pretty much all set up. Let me put this into the skew mesh folder and we'll call this make it a targa and this will be our normal normal and this is going to be object space okay so then let x normal do its thing okay when that gets done So you can see kind of right away, just on the object space map, that we don't have the distortion that we had before on any of these objects. So that's really the effect we're going after, is to get rid of this distortion on these objects. So now once you've done that, close this, come over to the tools, and you're going to want to use the object to tangent space converter. So you load in your low polygon mesh, and then Targa, your object space map, and then you, this is going to be tangent space. So then generate it. Okay, so now this is your tangent space map. So, 
Let's bring Max back up. So let's apply the tangent space map we just made. <laughs> 